Swansea, bloody Swansea. In the guts of Swansea under the station line is a white tile subway that smells of urine. Graffiti soul streets down from the walls shit you all inaudibly, yet desperately calls. When your light from the train at all changes cold and walk down High Street, you will be sadly appalled. Ponder the oxymoron of Elysium's elegant tiles that a pigeon defecated and vomit defiled. High Street's elegant rococo facades are ageing ageless in winsome brocades, whilst the lower four extractions are filled against rot in cell or cheap shops or similar grot. Yes, there are postmodern arty phoenix attempts to create pastel architect-less nausean tenements, or the artisan and artists living out bids to bring art to the struggling fat couples with kids. Behind High Street, Cast Street and post-war curse, the Strand is redeveloping a parallel universe, emperor's new clothes for avant-garde young things who look out over more deluded avant-garde blings. But drowning out of voices our every thought in Castle Gardens sits a giant TV expensively bought. Gardens, what a concrete televised joke. The grass roses of old will never be spoke. Worldly gig beetles, the scouring machines, sucking up gum and even more obscenes. When the fountains of vandal died bloody and red, is the age of tranquility finally dead. Pub after pub in the mercantile mire, dressed in Wild Street's old bank's elegant attire, many skirted mutton dressed up as lambs to the slaughter of alcohol, arm in arm, madams. Late night brouhaha slumped in the gutter, schnot drink she, arms round us mutter, as the neon rain soaks the poor old dears, the mascara runs in tragic hysterical tears. St Mary's Church is now selling cakes and teas. In the graveyard, that's the vicar's parking place, please. As the evangelist at the curbside microphone good news, in the church there are rows upon rows of empty pews. The statue old neck, wooden and red, leers down on the laundry sex shop ready for bed. The pong from the soap shop is lured on air that frights inelegantly with fag smoke everywhere. The art on the black wall says more poetry needed. But with not one word of graffiti has anyone pleaded that the perfumeries piled up in the department store take just one look at this turgid town of ours. Dylan will surely turn in his grave that his ugly, lovely town is simply ugly, not brave. Shop in soulless, in bustle, in pestle and mortar, they have been ground down like pigs on the way to the slaughter. Car parks and car parks over here, over there, on pavements in churches, there are cars everywhere. The Kingsway is abdicated to wear the motorway away with central reservations that say pedestrians no way. Wheelie bins and wheelie bins on streets overflow that lead to the Gildor's painted fingers and nail on show. Virginal white clock, the clock tower, condescending regales a pastiche of people in the second city of Wales. Funny old Fanoni, so grand you have been, tucked up behind Walter Road and often unseen. Mansion houses and broadways and smart little park, cravat and bow tie with dogs and leaves bark. What Swansea had been, Fanoni displays with an aching nostalgia for the grand old days. In Condonkin Park, Dylan sings in his chains and rattles in his grave as anarchy reigns. Roll down the hillside to gentle brimmel, to gentle brim, brim mill. Now a university dormitory for students, brill. Walk through the senescent park, its motorboat gone, and the menagerie cages so forlorn, so forlorn. Parks with cycles that are going too fast, with no park keeper to the ring the bell at last. Call to vacate and sleep down the tumultuous day of a childhood adventure along Swansea Bay. Walled around with hills and a valley escape, Swansea prods in land in a sou'wester cape. Raining in grand sheets drawn across Penland, they collapse on the tower and its villages in van. Essay one appears not to be fun, built it seems for everyone, no one. Icing coloured apartments, one upon another, the docking for shipping gone, brother or oh brother. Marina views for more tiled apartments ambition, sighs at sighs at the well-oiled flotsam detrition that stabs their idealised real estate brochure, finally lancing their expensive sartorial composure. But in the sea of Langland there is a saving grace of a swimmer with the winter, the wind on his face. Away from the bustle of a Swansea forlorn, a poet can forgive for a new day is born.